and good morning, everybody. Welcome to BAR. Today, we will be using light weights as, law, as well as a glider. So, glider right here. If you don't have a glider and you have a towel, face cloth, coffee filter, anything that might slide on tile or hardwood floor, please go ahead and grab that. Light weights in a mat, as always. All right, we are ready to go. I'm just going to hit the music. My one reminder, as always, if there's any kind of movement that I might be doing that doesn't feel good on your body, please take one of my modifications. All right. So we're going to begin as we always do, right? From the ground up. Feet directly underneath your hips and parallel. Go ahead and take a look at your toes. Lift them up and down. So as you do that, remember you want to spread your toes nice and wide. Lift and lower. So we start always from the ground up. Articulation begins in the feet for our bar class. Yes? Good. Hold them up. Big toe only. Taps. Big toe only. Excellent. Now all ten toes up. Pinky toe only. Pinky toe only. Let's alternate. Big toe. Pinky toe. <laughs> All the other toes stay spread apart. Excellent. Now all ten toes grab and release. Grab and release. Good. Relax the toes. Go ahead and roll through your left and right ankle. Let's take our movements now up the leg. Awaken the ankles. You might feel a few little cracks in there as they wake up. And then relax your feet down. Go ahead and roll through the ankle, supinate and pronate out, right? A little bit of movement, a little different angle into the ankles. Good. And then hold it steady. Go ahead and releve up and down. Take the work now, ankle into your calf with the calf raise, or what we call a releve. Remember all the energy squeezing into your center. Let's add first position arms. Soft arms in front. Good. You've got eight more. Eight. Seven. Excellent. Six. Feel the calves a little bit. Good. Give me four. Three. Up and hold. Hold it up. Open your arms wide and close. Good. How's that balance? Right away we work into that balance. That's it. You've got four more. Very nice. Four. Three, two, one. Are you ready? Squat it on. Down and up. So in the squat, notice I took my feet a little bit wider and hip distance apart. Tailbone is back. Good. Eight. You got it. Seven. Very good. Four more. Here's four. Three. So good. You ready? Take it down and pulse. Pulse three, two, right knee up on four. That's it. Now, as you stand up nice and tall, open up that standing hip. Oh, I don't know about you, but my hips, I feel it from Monday's Tabata. How about you, Alyssa? Yeah, those deep goblet squats get us every time. You ready? Up and hold, right knee up. Hold it up. Find your balance again. Yeah? Challenge the balance a little bit. Move the upper body around that lower body. Woo, how's that working, Pat? And quiet that movement. Send your right leg back, drop the heel. So your heel is down. Nice little calf stretch here. Just come forward slightly, keep the heel down, and come back, right? Come forward. Woo, beautiful. Couple more. One more time. Let's hold it forward. Now lift and lower through that right heel. Add your arms. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. Four more. Here we go. Four. Good. Here's three. Let's take it up and hold it up. Transition your weight into your left leg. Send your right leg back. Strong right leg. Point your right foot. Tap and lift. Eight. Seven. So good. Six. You need to hold on to something. You hold on to something, right? You got it. Here we go, Sheila. Four. Three. 
three, two, hold it up, bring your right knee in and extend. In and extend. Good. In and extend. Uh, you ready to speed this up? Give me eight, seven, little repeater, right? Six, five, you got it? Four, three, two, and one. Bring your feet together, open and close. Now, your legs probably feel a little uneven, right? You did a little bit of work just now on your left leg, so it might feel a little different. Good, two more. Pull your feet open. Releve up and down. Here we go. Lift and lower. Let's add the arms again in front. Eight. Seven. That's it. Squeezing energetically still into your center. For four. Three. So good. Up and hold. Bring your heels together. Arms go up and down. So, so now with your heels touching, your balance got a little better, didn't it? Yes, I know it did. Four more. Here's four with control. Here's three, two, and one. Bring it on down, feet a little wider. Let's hit those squats again. Here we go. Down and up. Good. Just going through a warm up right here, Alyssa. Getting that body ready for some work. Good. Take it down. Pulse at three, two. Left knee up on four. Good. Pulse three. One, right knee up, good, three, two, one, left knee up. You ready? One more time. Hold it up on this one, Pat, hold it up. Again, check your balance, move that upper body around a little bit. Ah, and then quiet that. Send your left leg back, drop the heel. Again, that left heel down, you ready? Just come forward a little bit, keeping the left heel down the whole time. Let's hold it forward, lift and lower. At the arms, here we go, Judy, up and down, lift and lower. Good. Up and hold, hold it up, send your left leg back, right knee soft, tap and lift, good, tap and lift. In four, in three, two, you ready? Hold it up, pull the knee in and out. Slowly for the first four and control it. Right knee stays bent to support you. You ready? Speed it up, here we go. Eight, seven, six, four, you got it, three, Two and one, feet down, nice work. All right, first position, plie, straight. Uh, let's get into our plie work. So, what's my reminder? Tailbone to the floor, shoulders relaxed and down, looking straight ahead. Only bending as far as you can comfortably go without breaking that good form, right? Knees, knees are trying to go out over the middle of your foot. You ready? Take it, plie. Releve, straighten, and drop. Plie, releve, straighten, and drop. Good, plie, releve, straighten, drop. Plie, heels lift, straighten. Three more times, plie, heels. Good, here's two more. One more time. Hold it right here. Bring your heels together. You ready? Two counts down, we go down. Two, lift, two. So at the top, I really want you to think about squeezing your inner thighs towards each other. At the bottom, make sure you're still in that beautiful upright position, right? So you're not sinking down back here, right? Take it down, two, and lift. Let's do four more like this, down. Two, heels still touching, Gail, that's it. Take it down, two more. And down. One more time. Take it down. Hold it at that bottom level, yes? Come halfway up and back down. Halfway is more than my normal inch, right? Yes, it is. Yes. Here we 
we go. Four more. Four. Think about squeezing right here. Three. Two. Now at the bottom, hold the pulse. Pulse three. Two. One. Straighten all the way up. Pulse three. Two. One. And straight. Good. Three. Two. One. Straight. Nice. Three. Two. One. Beautiful. Four more. Here's three. So good. Here's two. One more time. Take it to that bottom. Hold it for me. Pulse three. I mean eight. Why did I say three? Oh my gosh. For four, three, two, all the way up and shake it out. Nice work. Go ahead and grab your weights for me. All right. Let's isolate the shoulders. You ready? Isolation of the shoulders. Feet at a V. Thumbs on top. Give me that V right here. Remember what I always tell you. Even though we do different range of motions, different tempos, this position with your arms is the most favorable position for your shoulder joint, right? It's not out in front, it's not out to the side. It's a V. Yeah, it's the most natural position. Up and hold. Elbow, shoulder height, overhead, eight, seven, good, six, four, good. Here's three, two, hold it, shoulder height, open an arm, palms to the sky, take it down a little bit, and lift up, eight, seven. It's like a diagonal reach up, right? Six, exhale. You've got four, nice. Three, shoulders already getting warm. Two, and one. Bring them all the way down. Palms to your side, feet parallel. Soften the knees. Lateral raise. Good. Here's the change. Right knee up, left arm forward, right arm right. Eight, seven. Four, good. Three, two, switch legs, switch the direction of the arms. Left knee up, right arm forward, left arm left. Seamless movement, right? You got it. Good, four more, Ellen. Four, good. Here's three, two, and one. Both feet down, hands into your belly, externally rotate. This is our breather before we go to the next step. Oh yeah. Good, you've got four more. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Bring your feet back together. First position, back to that B. Here we go. Eight, seven, nice. Six, five, four, three. Up and hold, flip it. Overhead go. Eight. Nice. Exhale as you push. Good. One more. Bring it on down. Turn the palms up. Elbows drop a little bit. We reach eight. Good. Seven. Very nice. Six. Excellent. Woo! Breathing. Four. Three. Yes, two, and one. Arms all the way down, parallel feet, lateral raise. Eight, how the shoulders feeling? Nice and warm? Give me four, three, two, get ready. Right knee up, left arm forward, right arm right. Seamless transition. Here we go. Left knee up, right arm forward, left arm left. How do you do with that transition, Elaine? Good. Four, three, two, and one. Both feet down. Here we go. Externally rotate eight times. And 
M1, relax the abdomen. All right, we're going into combination movements. So we're going to continue with the shoulders, but we're going to be doing some second position plies. So let's just start with the plie to begin with. Turn your feet out, step out, step out, right? So you've got more of an athletic position for your plie. Just plie down and lift. All right. So just like first position, your knees are planing over the middle of your foot. Your tailbone is going to the floor. Shoulders relaxed and down. Good body position, right? Good. Let's just do eight more here. Eight. So we're going to be doing traveling plies. But you want to make sure you've got that good plie. Four. Good. Three. Two. And one. Let's bring your feet together. You need to have movement so you can go to your left. You're going to go ahead and plie down right here. Second, first, second, arabesque. Second, first, second, arabesque. Second, there's where you need the balance of your body, arabesque. Where do the arms come in? Are you ready for that? Here we go. Plie, 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 arabesque. Plie, 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 arabesque. Yes? Now, if the arms are too much with weights in them, just take the weights away. Good, because you just did a good bit of work warming up the shoulders, right? Good. Plie. Plie. You've got a couple more. Good. Three more. Plie only right here. Plie down and up. Plie. Hands back to your thighs. Good. Let's slow this down to counts. Take it down. Two. Lift. Arms in front. Plie down. Two. Add bicep curls. Plie. Two. Good. Slow, control, movement right here. Couple more. One more time. You ready to give me singles? Down and up. Here we go. Eight. Seven, keep going. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Step together. You ready? Here we go. Plie second, first, second, arabesque. Second, first, second, add the arms. Here we go. Second, first, second, arabesque. Plie, plie, plie. Lift. Oh yeah, second, first, feels good, Woo. two more, good, one more, stay in the second position, plie down and up, down, arms in front, and bicep. Four more. Four. Good. Here's three. Down and hold. Arms halfway. Cross over and under. Stay down in that plie. Eight. Seven. You got it. Six. Last four. Three. Thighs nice and warm. Two. And one. So good. Shake it off. Place the weights down. Grab a little hydration. You got your water nearby, right? All right. Let's get back in and adjust your legs. So, grab your glider. Remember, paper plates are great. A towel. Anything that will slide on your tile or your wood floors. If you're on carpeting, you're just going to have to take the modification, not actually gliding, right? So we're going to start with a nice lunge. So go ahead and take your left foot on the glider, right? I want you, if you need to, to hold on. Go ahead and send your left leg back, bend your left knee, right? So both knees are bent. Driver is your right leg and pull it up. Two counts. We go down. Two and lift. Two, let the right leg 
do the one that works. Now, if you don't need to hold on to the bar, don't hold on, right? Take it down. Two, lift. If you don't have a glider, you're going down. Two, and lift. Two, you step back. Two, and in, or stay in that static lunge. A lot of choices for our lunges. You've got four more right here. Oh yeah, here's three. Nice, here's two. You know we're about to stay back on this next one, right? You ready? Take it back, hold it all the way back. Straighten out that back leg. Your left leg is straight. Hands on your right thigh. Push the glider back and pull it in. Push it back, pull it in. Now if you don't have a glider, you're right here. Just go ahead, drop the hip and lift a little bit. Drop the hip and lift. You've got eight more. Push it back, eight, seven. Good, six, five, nice, good movement, four. Remember, you're not trying to bring the glider in with your left leg. Three, two, stay down low, tuck it in and out. Good, no glider, tap it in, tap it out, tap it in, tap it out. Slide it in, slide it out. For four, three, two, hold it in, hold it in, slide it out. And in, out, and in. No glider. Tap it out. Tap it in. Tap it out. Bring it in. For four. How's that right leg feeling? Woo! Yeah. Two. One. Bring it in. Stand it up. Shake it out. All the work again should have been in your right leg. If it wasn't, we'll fix it on the other side. So now your left foot is on the glider. I'm sorry, your right foot is on the glider. You ready? Just start with that nice deep lunge here. Back knee bends right now. Stand it up. Two counts. We go back. Two and up. Two. We go back. Two. Good. Take it back. Two and lift. Again. Take it down. Two and lift. Oh. Good. Down. How's that working for you? You've got four more. You get enough in and? Yeah. Three. Two more. One more time. All the way back. All the way forward. Now we take it back. We hold it back. Straighten out your right leg. Hands on your left side. Push it back. Bring it in. Push it back. Remember, you're heavy in your left foot. For eight, that's it. Seven, you should be feeling your left glute. Six, five, maybe five as well. Four, three. You ready? Hold it, tuck it in and out. Here we go. Eight, seven. Good. Here's six, five. Nice. Four, three. Oh, yeah. In hold, take it to your right. Here we go. One, two, so good. Three, four, last three. Oh, yeah, last one. Stand it up. Woo, shake it out. I love my glider. Shake it out. How about you? So good, so good. All right, grab your weights again, please. Let's work a little bit more in your bicep. So go ahead and take both weights in your right hand. Come to that nice meet first position again. So, arms out at a slight angle. Right, slight angle out. No swinging in the shoulders. Now, if you don't want both weights, you don't need them. You grab one weight. Maybe you have a heavier weight nearby and you can pick that up instead. Right? Four. Three. And one, let's just switch sides. Carefully switch the weight. Single curl. Four more. And relax down. Feet parallel, arms out, two counts up, 
and two counts down. Again, take it up. Two. So your knees are soft. You have a good lower body supporting everybody movement. Again, we go up. Two. Four more times at the two counts. Tempo. Two count tempo. In up. Two. And lower. Let's do two more. Good. One more time. Release both weights back to your right hand. Feet to first position. Single count go. One. You have four more right here. Here's four. Three. One more time. Excellent. Release. Other side. 12 of them, one, that's it, two, nice, three, is one arm stronger than the other? When you separate them out like this, you feel that difference, I know. Four more, here's four, here's three. One more time, good, weight knee chin, feet parallel, you ready? Take it up on one, lower three, two, one and lift. We go down with control and lift. Lengthen, 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 and shorten. Go down. Two, three, lift on four. Good. Breathing through it. That's it. Yeah. Two more. One more time. Single count all the way up and down, straight on in front. Eight, seven, that's it. Six. Here's four. Three, two, and one. Excellent work. Weights are down, shake it out. Grab a little water. You know, I always give you permission to grab water when I'm thirsty, right? Hopefully it's a nice reminder for you to stay hydrated and drink throughout your workout. All right, let's go ahead and face our bar or your chair or whatever it is that you have that supports you, right? So we're going to go a little bit into the back of our legs. Forearm on the forearm. Forehead on your forearm. Now, if you have a chair, you might be holding on to it like this with a nice long spine, right? Softening your left knee, take your right leg straight back. So my left foot is actually facing forward. So it's not open in this exercise. Left knee is back, right leg lift, and lower. Now, remember this. You want to really contract your right thigh and lengthen your leg back. Good, lengthen it back. So don't open your hips right now. Lengthen it back. Good. How about four more? It's four, three, two, up and hold. Now take it to a diagonal. Diagonal to the outside of your left leg and lift. One, two, three. Slightly different movement. Four, five. Up and hold, pulse it up. Pulse three, two, and just tap it down. So no diagonal. Pulse three, two, one, and tap. Pulse three, two, one, and tap. Good. Pulse three, two, one. Keep squeezing. I know your standing leg is getting to work too, especially after we just did the gliders. That's all good. You've got two more like this. One more time. Now, pulse it three, pulse three, two, one, diagonal, tap again, pulse three, two, one. Notice my right leg is able to go a little bit higher and wider as it goes diagonal, three. And I'm really getting into my glute max, right? It's kind of the outside of the glute. You've got four more. Good, three more. Two more. Excellent. One more time. Let's take it up and pulse only. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. 
right leg. I want you to bend your left knee and point your toes like that, right? Lift, lateral lift, lift. So it's your left leg that you're lifting. That was your standing leg. That was your standing leg. So I'm like this. Right knee is now soft. I'm going to face you, but I'm using a different leg than you are as you face me. I know that. But it's your left leg is lifting, so stay with that leg. Up and hold, you pulse. Pulse three, two, one. Bring the knees back together. Pulse three, two, one. So the leg is going straight out to your side. Not behind you yet. Three, two, one. Just a couple more like this. Pulse three. One more time. Now, there's a change in this, right? Flex your foot. So you don't push it away. I want you to take your leg back behind you slightly and turn it out. Lift and lower. Small movement, yes? Now, you're not just involving your glutes, but you, you put your left hand around your waist and your back. You're getting a little bit of external oblique work. You've got eight. That's all we're going to do. Seven. Six, small movement. Five, four, three, two, and one, and shake it off. All right, go ahead and grab your support base, round in your back. So that should feel good if your back was bugging you a little bit. All right? So let's go into the other leg. Standing leg now again is your right leg. Forearm over forearm, forehead down. Soften your right knee, take your left leg back. Lift and lower. Again, right foot facing forward. Left thigh contracting. Lift and lower. Good. Let's take it up. Hold it. Now tap diagonal and lift. Diagonal. Lift. Four more. Three. Up and hold. Pulse three, two, one. Tap straight down. Pulse three, two. Is your right knee still bent? Yes. Three, two, one, and tap. Good. Here we go. Two more times. One more time. Pulse it diagonal. Three. Two, tap diagonal. Here we go. Pulse three. Two, one. Oh, yeah, feeling that right knee. You have right glute, not the knee. The glutes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Rock solid glutes, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, three more. Two more. Oh, one more. Hang in there. Up and hold, pulse it only, tap, pulse, eight, seven, six, don't give up, three, two, and one. Oh, yeah. All right, so again, you've got your standing leg, your right leg, you need to bend the right knee, point your toes, ready, lift out, and in. And remember, the knees come together. So check yourself. Make sure your knee's not coming forward like this, right? Come right back in. Lift and lower. Soften your left knee. It's your right leg you're lifting. I'm lifting my right leg, too. I'm not going nearer to you right now. You ready? Point your toes and you pulse. Pulse three, two, one. Lower. Are you sweating? I am. Oh, yeah. Pulse three, two, one. Lower. Pulse three, two. Sometimes my friends will walk by me out on the pool patio. I have to wait to them. Good. Couple more. Pulse three, two, one. One more time. Here comes the change. Are you ready, Sheila? Take the leg back slightly. Flex the foot and open it. You lift and lower. Now, if it feels more comfortable being down here, but I guess it's a slightly different exercise. I'm opening up wider. Right here, I don't have that opportunity so much. It's 
is right here. It's like the old hydrant move. Remember that, Judy? Years ago, the old hydrant. Eight. Seven. Six. Yeah, nice work. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more time. And relax down. Nice job, everybody. Take your right ankle on your left thigh. Have a seat. Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. All right, let's switch sides. Other side. Oh, so good. All right, and then release. Let's hit our backs while we're standing. So grab your weights, please. Double up in your right hand. All right, your lat pull, right? Knees bent, long spine. Remember, elbow wraps around your back. Full extension down right there. You release the muscle, release the muscle, pull. Shoulders stay square. At the top, a little extra squeeze. Breathe. Good. Oh, so good. Give me eight. Seven. Very nice. Six. Good. Five. Two and one. Excellent. Let's switch sides. Other side. Ready? Right here. Flat back. Round. Make sure your spine is nice and long, right? And you're not rounded through the back. So to get that, you kind of send your booty back a little bit. Eight more. Here we go. It's eight. Seven. Six. Give me four. Three. One more time. And release. Good. All right. The weight of each hand. Your back flies. Remember that good body position, right? Knee set, hip hinge, so hinge at the waist. Here we go. You gotta give me about. Six more right here. Six. That was an odd number, right? Five. Four. Three. One more time. And relax. Oh, we're going to do one more set of back flies. How are you feeling? Good? Nice and strong? I hope so. You ready? Me soft. Here we go. Last four, three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, relax the weights down. Grab your mat. Meet me on the floor. So you need your glider. You need your weights and your mat.
My pants are really purple, but you wouldn't know that. All right. Oh, that's better, I think, for you, yeah? Now you can see me. <laughs> you ready? Up and hold, you pulse, pulse, eight, seven, six, give me four, three, two, and one. Pull your knee into your chest and push it away. So that tells you the value when we're doing videoing, right, of the colors, what we see, where the lighting is. We're kind of learning all that through Zoom, aren't we? Go ahead and bring your knee into your chest, pulse it in eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Last one, I want you to extend your leg out. Point your foot, turn your big toe to the floor, tap and lift. Tap and lift, good, tap and lift. You're like, oh, more glute work? Yeah, you know, we need nice strong glutes, right? That's the muscle that's gonna help you stand up from the floor if you're on the floor. Obviously it helps you stand up from a chair as well. How about four more? It's four. Good. Here's three. Two. Up and hold. Pulse. Eight. Seven. Six. Four. Three. Two. And one. And back. All right. Send your bottom leg. That's your left leg out. Bring your right foot in front. Flex your left foot. Lift and lower. So let's get a little bit of inner thigh. We don't focus much on inner thigh. But that's okay because most of us need to focus on the outer thigh, strengthening, not the inner thigh. Good. Let's do four more. Three, two, up and hold, hold eight, seven, six, give me four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Uh, let's roll around onto your stomach. How about some push-ups? You ready for those? Take your hands as wide as the mat is wide. Now remember, if you can't do a push-up on the floor, you can find your way back to standing and do it on a dresser or on your bed or on a kitchen counter. All right, bend your knees, cross your ankles, push away from the earth. You ready? Just 10 of them. 10, 9, good, 8, 7, 6, flat back. Five, four, three, two, and one. That wasn't so bad, was it? Well, you're going to do another set. Oh, it's good for you. Are you ready? One more set. Here we go. Again, hands wide, cross your ankles, push to a plank, right? So you've got a nice long spine. Here we go. Down and up. One, two. Good stuff. All right, come around on your right side. Meet me over here. Again, bring your knees to a tabletop position. Flex your feet, lift and lower. That left leg lifting as one unit. So, you're not trying to get that foot higher than the knee. Lift with the hip, lift with the glutes. Let's do eight more. Up and hold, and you pulse the lane. Pulse eight, seven, six. Give me four, three. Hold it, knee comes in, and push it out. Remember, you're pushing your leg like you're pushing a piece of furniture across the room. Really use that extension right there. Good. Pulse your knee in. Eight, seven, six. Give me four. Hold it, extend it, point it, tap it down and up. Eight, seven, you got it. Six, we don't do many of these. Two, four, three, two, and one. So good. Bend your knees, roll onto your back. All right, grab a little of your weight. 
Take your right ankle on your left thigh for a minute and just give it a little stretch, right? You can pull your knee in for a second. And then switch sides. So just give the hips a quick stretch right now. All right, and now both feet flat on the floor, arms straight up for your triceps. Plug your shoulders into the mat, bend your elbows to 90 degrees. You ready? Single tricep, one. Slow it down, two counts. Take it up, two, and lower, two. Press, two. Remember, no swinging in the shoulders, elbows in line with your shoulders. Lift. Two more doubles. One more double. Single count for eight. Eight. Seven. Three up, one down. Three, two, one, and release. Good. Three, two, one, release on four. It's three, two, one, and release. Good. Controlling that release. Two more. One more time. Singles up and down. We go eight, seven, six. Up and hold. One down, three up. Good. Take it down. Press two, three, four. Down on one, push three. Two more. Take it to 90 degrees. Give me one inch and lower. One inch. One inch. That's it. For eight. Seven. Six. Give me four. Three. Two and one. And relax. Nice work. All right. Shake out your arms. Bring your knees in. Both hands on your right shin. Chin to your chest, and neck and shoulders lift. Send your right leg out to 45 degrees and switch. Inhale and exhale. Good. Inhale. Four. Three. Two. And one. Both knees in. Relax it for a moment. Just rock side to side. Excellent. Now, chin to chest, head, neck, and shoulders lift. Inhale, arms and legs 45 degrees. Sweep your arms around. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, extend. Sweep and exhale out. Good. Inhale, sweep, exhale out. Four more. There's three. There's two. And relax your head, neck, and shoulders. Nice work. Rock yourself on up. Come around into a plank position. All right. Elbows on the floor. Underneath your shoulders, palms grounded. Send your legs back. Come to your best plank. Crown your head. You ready? Drop your right knee down. And then your left knee. Alternate right knee. Left knee. Stabilize the body. Crown your head forward. Push away from the earth. Right knee, left knee, nice. Right and left. Both knees down and up for eight, seven, six. Last one and relax down. Good. Go ahead and sit back to your child pose.
and then come to table. Knees underneath your hips, wrists underneath your shoulders. Send your right leg straight back, left arm forward. Push away from the earth. Open to a diagonal, feel your abdominals right there, and come back to center. Open to a diagonal, and come back to your center. Good, three more times. One more. Release your hand down, release your knee down. Left leg back, right arm forward again. Push away, so engage right away. Open to a diagonal and come back. Do that again. Two more. One more. Hand down, knee down. Meet me in a high plank. Tuck your toes under. Walk your thumb and your pointer finger together. Make a heart. Give yourself a little love this morning. And then walk your hands and feet together. Bend your knees and roll up one vertebra at a time. I will come up last. Uh, take a nice deep breath in. Hold on to your right wrist. Side bend to your left. Send your right hip away. Good. Come back center, other side. Back center, release your arms down. Shoulders roll up, back, and down. Excellent. Your head rolls around one time. Reverse it. Shake it out. Excellent work, everybody. Thanks for being with me. Have a great day. We'll see you next week, if not before. Stay well, stay happy, stay healthy. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Ainsley. Thank you, Ainsley. It was great. Thank you.